Hello viewers, welcome to this video. In this video, let's see how to deploy and run your Docker containers in Amazon, in AWS using Elastic Container Service, all right? So um, there are two ways you can run your containers in ECS. So one is using a service called Fargate and the other one is using uh, your EC2 instances. So the difference between these two is if you're using Fargate, and you don't have to manage the underlying EC2 instances. So Fargate AWS manages all the underlying EC2 instances uh, for you. So for example, if the EC2 instances needs patching, software update, auto scaling, for example, if your load increases, you want to run additional Docker containers and the auto scaling of the underlying EC2 instance uh, will be taken care of by Fargate. So you don't have to worry about the underlying infrastructure. So it's like the AWS Elastic Beanstalk. So you're deploying your application, you're only worried about your application, nothing else. You concentrate, you focus on your application, and you, you don't care really where it's actually running. Everything will be taken care of by AWS. So Fargate is something similar for Docker containers. So when you run your Docker container, it will automatically provision you with uh, EC2 instances, auto scaling, and everything. So that's uh, Fargate. But if you want to manage how many instances you want, uh, when I say instances, those are the EC2 instances where your containers, your Docker containers will be running. So if you want to manage everything by yourself, in some cases, you might want to manage it yourself. You don't want to let uh, Fargate manage the cluster for you, which will make your life easier, but it will take away some of the uh, customization or some of the configuration options. So if you want to manage it yourself, you can uh, create your own cluster with any number of EC2 instances, but you have to take care of uh, patching, software updates, auto scaling, and all those things. So in this first video, we will look at uh, Fargate. And in the next video, we will see how to do the same thing on uh, EC2 instances manually, all right? So I've logged into my AWS management console here and I'm going to go to ECS, but before that, I will show you my EC2 dashboard. And you can see there are no instances running at the moment, uh, just one default security group. And if I go to VPC, and I have just one VPC here. If you go here, your VPCs, I have one VPC, and I've got three subnets. So these are the default VPC and default subnets. But when we are creating a cluster, ECS cluster, it's going to create a new VPC, a new set of subnets for you. All right, let's get started. Uh, let's go to EC, sorry, ECS service. And by default, if you click on the get started, if you haven't deployed any cluster before, uh, you will be welcomed with this screen, get started. And if you click that one, it will take you to the Fargate type of service, right? getting started with Amazon Elastic Container Service using Fargate, all right? So the, the things we will be doing here is like container definition, we need to define what our container is. Task definition, task is something like, um, what is the container, how much memory, how much CPU, what resource it needs, and how to run and so on. And service is like a group of tasks, so how many instances of your containers you need to run and so on. So that will be under service. And the underlying thing is cluster, which we don't have to worry about. Um, Fargate will take care for us. All right, let's define the container first. A sample app or an Nginx. Let, let's pick up uh, Nginx. And if you want, you can edit. So that's the container name, Nginx. You can give anything you want. Image is Nginx, the latest version. Memory, soft limit, it can use up to 512, sorry. Uh, we are going to schedule this container in a EC2 in an EC2 instance that has at least um, 512 meg of memory. So port mapping. So if you are used to Docker file, uh, we usually expose the port from the container so that we can access it from the host machine. So traffic uh, is sent and received through that port mapping. So we are basically exposing port 80 uh, on the container to the host so that we can access it from uh, the other things. So advanced container option, if you want to change any of these, you can. Working directory environment, if you want to set, uh, change the entry point, for example. 
network settings, extra host, DNS search domains, DNS servers, anything if you want to customize inside the container, for example, this extra host, it's going to add an entry to your ETC host and you can add multiple entries, host name and the corresponding IP address. So if you want to put some entries in ETC host file within the container, this is the place you need to add. And for all the options, you have this little uh, information icon that you can look at uh, if you want to customize the container configuration. So I'm gonna go with the default, this is just a demo. And that's the container definition. And next uh, is the task definition. So how are we going to run this container? So that's task. Basically, we are defining a task. And if I click on edit, it says compatibilities is Fargate. You won't be able to change it. In the next video, I will show you how to use EC2 instead of Fargate. All right, so it's going to create a task execution role for us. Network mode is AWS VPC. Uh, a name for this task and the amount of memory and the amount of CPU this particular task needs, which is 0.5 gig, half a gig, and uh, 0.25 virtual CPU. All right, so cancel that and go to the next step. All right, we are done with the container definition, task definition, so now we are going to create a service. Define your service. Okay, so number of desired tasks, so that's like number of replicas. So if you're used to Kubernetes, um, so how many instances of your container you want to start. And I'm going to edit that and say, I want two instances of my Docker container, Nginx container. All right, so security group, it's going to create a new security group for us. Elastic load balancing is optional, uh, but I'm going to create an application load balancer, select that because we have two replicas. If you have got just one replica, you don't have to worry about creating a load balancer. Uh, but if you've got more than one replicas, uh, it's good to have a load balancer configured. So I'm gonna select application load balancer and uh, it's it will be load balancing on the port Nginx, uh, the container port 80. That's okay and click save. So that's done. So we have uh, created our service, yep. And finally, the cluster. What's the name of the cluster? Let's call it ECS um, Fargate Demo. VPC ID, so it's going to create a new VPC, new subnets and everything, all right? Click Next and a final page to review your settings and then click Create. It's going to take, it says it's going to take like 10 minutes and let's wait for it. And these are the list of resources it's going to deploy. VPC, couple of subnets, security group. It's also going to create as a load balancer. So we need to go to the load balancer and copy the public uh, DNS name. So that's how we will be accessing uh, this Nginx container. All right, so I'm gonna pause the video and come back when all these uh, operations have been completed. Okay, so it's completed. Now, if we go back to uh, viewing the service or if we go to the cluster. All right, cool. So we have our ECS Fargate demo. So that's the cluster. And uh, we've got one service, two pending tasks, and soon it will change to uh, running tasks. So that, uh, yep. So now the two containers uh, are running. So the two tasks are running. Let's go ahead and look at what it has actually provisioned us. So if I go to EC2, open that in a new tab. Let's go ahead and look at the um, instance. So still you can see there are no instances, but these containers has to run somewhere, right? So the EC2 instances won't be visible in our dashboard, in our account. So it will, be, it will still be running in uh, EC2 instances, but those EC2 instances uh, are managed by AWS themselves. So you won't be able to look at those EC2 instances. So we have four security groups, one load balancer. Let's look at the security group. So we have three security groups. One is the default security group for the new VPC uh, this ECS created for us. And two security, two additional security groups, one for the load balancer and one for the uh, ECS. All right, so that's the security group. And if I go to load balancers, that will be one load balancer. Yeah, that's the load balancer. And if you copy the DNS name of the load balancer, and we should be able to access our Nginx application. Yep, welcome to Nginx. So that's our Nginx web page running as Docker containers. 
in Amazon's ECS using Fargate. All right, so that page will be load balanced between two uh, containers, two Docker containers running on EC2 instances. So the auto scaling, everything is already taken care of by AWS themselves. And if you if you increase the number of uh, replicas or number of tasks for this service, uh, then if it can't, if the underlying EC2 instance doesn't have sufficient resource, Fargate will automatically scale the number of EC2 instances so that it can accommodate more Docker containers. Okay, so that's that. And if you look at VPC, if you go to the VPC service, now you will see two VPCs. Yep, so we have two VPC. One is the default VPC and the other one is the one that uh, Fargate created for us. So that's the VPC and if you look at subnets, so it has created two subnets for us. It, it has created an internet gateway, routing tables, and uh, additional resources. All right, so that's uh, that's it. And if you want, um, if you look at the ECS Fargate demo, so that's the service, Nginx service. We have one service that is active um, and we have two replicas of the tasks running. Launch type is Fargate. In the next video we see uh, we will see how to use the EC2 as the launch uh, type. If you look at the tasks, so these are the two tasks that are currently running, two replicas of the Docker containers. ECS instances, you won't see any ECS instance because it's all managed by AWS, but when you're using your EC2 instances, you will see uh, the EC2 instances that you are using for your cluster uh, will be listed here. All right, so all right, so that's it. And now let's uh, do some tidy up. Let's clean up the resources that we de deployed. All right, so the thing to do now is first uh, stop the services, stop the tasks that are running. So we have two tasks, select all of them, uh, or you don't have to, uh, there's a stop all button. So stop all and then type in stop all. So that will stop uh, the containers. Yep, uh, that has stopped uh, the Nginx container. So what we can do now is action. So that should be a deregister thing. Okay, don't worry about that. Let's find it out. Services, go to services, uh, task definition. And in the action, create uh, click deregister. So that's basically uh, deleting your task definition inactive okay clusters um click on fargate cluster inactive that's okay delete the cluster type delete me it's going to take like five minutes deleting ecs tasks and service deleting cluster resources so all the resources it has deployed will be removed uh, so it has deployed uh, a vpc subnet um, security groups, load balancers, and so on. So all of those will be deleted and um, will take about five minutes. I'll pause the video and come back when it's done. All right, so it has deleted the cluster for us. If I go to task definition, there are no task definitions and everything is cleaned. And if I go to ECS now, yep. Uh, we are welcomed with this uh, getting started page. So that's okay. And if I go to uh, the VPCs, it should have deleted our VPC that it has created. So VPC is gone. Subnets, we are back to the three default uh, subnets. And let's take a look at the EC2 dashboard. And it should have deleted all the security groups. Yep, the one security group is the default security group. It has deleted the load balancer for us. Okay, cool. I think that's all I wanted to show you. Nope, there's one more thing. Uh, if you go to IAM and it should have, the, the, the ECS, the Fargate process might have created two additional roles. Uh, it won't delete that. So you, you will have to do that manually if you want uh, to clean up everything properly. So ECS task execution role, that's the one and AWS service role for ECS. So those are the two roles that uh, the Fargate created for us. So delete that role if you want to just properly clean up everything. It's not going to incur any charge, it's just a role, but if you want to clean up properly, then those are the two things that you have to do manually. 
all right cool that's it for this video if you've got any questions this is a very simple video please follow and let me know if you've got any questions and if you like this video please share and subscribe i will see you all in my next video bye bye